Hey Jason, we're here to see your gym and fridge. Hey, what's up people? So I heard y'all here to see the gym and the fridge. Come on in. All right, so what keeps working out interesting is if you, you're able to switch it up, do different things. Today, we're gonna go into a boxing gym. I usually go into Rumble, but this is my first time trying this boxing gym, so let's experience it together for the first time. All right, so I was, I was a fat kid, you know? So uh, for me, me and my brother, actually, and my sister, we actually used to go running around the block together. And that was the beginning of the workout journey, just kind of running around the block. We thought it would help us lose weight faster. <laughs> So that's where it started. And then uh, I seen all the fine girls was on the track team. And I was like, yo, what is this? It was like, yo, it's this track team. So then I joined the track team, obviously, because I wanted to be around all those fit girls. Unfortunately, I wasn't blessed with great speed or jumping high. But what I did have was the mental capacity and the mental toughness um, that allowed me to just kind of work harder than everybody else so that I could kind of fit in. So I started off a little chubby and then by the end I became amazing at it. What made me crazy about it is when I uh, had a neck injury, when I broke my C2 vertebrae. I spent seven months without having uh, gone to the gym. You know, when you're sitting on your hands and you can't do what you want to do, you know, when you're able to do it again, you're like, damn, you, you wanna jump right to it. Also, I feel like being fit saved my life. So I decided that I needed to take it to the next level. And uh, that's when I started to really, really go for it. How did you get in shape to play a cat? <laughs> um, so every single day was a learning experience. So it was not like training ever stopped. So five months of full cat vibes. <laughs> and I was really engulfed in, in the cat world. And so I went to cat school um, to learn how to become, you know, that cat human hybrid. Um, so it was a lot of all four movements, you know. So it would go from, you know, being uh, standing upright like I am now to going straight to all fours in an instant. And learning how to walk on the right, uh, right arm, right leg, you know, and going at the same time because they're not like us, right? So we kind of switch, right? Right leg, left foot. Right? And cats, you know, are the opposite. They do same arm, same leg. They don't have arms, but you know what I mean. Show me your best cat move. I do have some signature moves that are within the movie. And I see you preparing the camera like I was gonna do that. But you gotta go and see the, the movie, December 20th, and then you'll see the moves. How do you stay fit when you're on the road? So the workout is a little different when I'm traveling because Obviously, when I'm traveling, I'm doing shows. So if I have a show that evening, uh, I try to temper the amount of cardio that I do that day, because um, obviously I don't want to do cardio on top of cardio. So non-traditional workouts, when you're on the road, you got to do what you got to do. Sometimes when I'm in certain countries, you know, the gym might not be that lit. Um, I've done from anything from pulling cars to just lifting suitcases in my room. I, I try to be creative as possible, but honestly, it's just about consistency. I stay super consistent. I don't cheat myself. I uh, continue to work as hard as I possibly can. And uh, when the workouts get easier, I just make it more tough. And for all of you who feel like you don't have the genetics on your side, you know what I'm saying? Feel like you gotta work harder than everybody else. You gotta eat cleaner than everybody else. I'm the same way. Just because your friend could eat pizza and still have abs, that don't mean <laughs> that you gotta do the same thing. If you know you gotta eat cleaner, that's what you gotta do. But just know you're not alone. I'm here with you. I want some pizza too, shit. What's your most meaningful tattoo? Uh, my most meaningful tattoo? Damn, that's, that's a, kind of a hard question. Um, I think I am my brother's keeper is, is super meaningful. Uh, I do take care of my family. My family is most important to me and my family kind of works around me as well. They actually give a fuck. And if they don't, they're not, they not with me. Don't just hire your family members because because they, you know what I'm saying? Because they're your family. They have to be adequate, you know what I'm saying? They have to be able to do the job that is required. All right, let's get out of here and go to your place so we can see your fridge. All right, y'all, so this is my home. Uh, this is the main fridge, this is the main house. 
Uh, I have a bunch of fridges on the compound, but this is the main one. Shall we? I'm a real foodie, you know what I'm saying? So I eat a ton, and because I eat so much, you know, I have to make sure that my diet is very, very strict. I don't veer too much. Um, so for me, I kind of stock my fridge in a way that, you know, you can't really mess up too much. Because if, it, if it's not in the crib, then, you know, you're probably not gonna eat it. So what do you have for breakfast? I don't really have breakfast. I do intermittent fasting, um, but I love eggs. So I do keep a bunch of organic eggs within the fridge. I'll have anywhere from four to eight eggs easily. When I'm really on it, I'll do all egg whites. When I'm, you know, just kind of playing around a little bit, it's half egg whites and half full eggs. Do you cook? I don't cook. Um, I wish I did. I wish I knew how to cook, but I do know how to make a hell of an omelet. Ladies, if you want me to cook you an omelet, I can make you the bombest omelet you've ever had. So who cooks all that food? Yeah, so my chef will get organic uh, meats. So, you know, 16 ounces wild caught salmon. And it's kind of all in here so that it's uh, fresh for the day. I intake a lot of protein uh, per day. I try to do at least a pound, you know? So I'm like, I'm like 250. So I try to intake about, nah, I'm about like 190 now. So I try to intake at least like 190. What's in the bag? So my chef won't give up his secrets, but I'm gonna let y'all in on one. He marinates all the meat. You know, this will sit here for a couple of days even. You know what I'm saying? So the flavor is locked in. Ziploc, you owe me money for this. What's in that big jar? So this is Pickles. This is a Haitian delicacy, as you know, I'm Haitian. Um, and it acts as a hot sauce. So it's a hot sauce, but it's like a million times better. It's onions, it's vinegar, it's cabbage, it's coleslaw, and a couple other things that I don't know. <laughs> um, but it's unbelievable, I grew up having this. It's very low calorie, and it makes any meal taste like heaven. So I know what you're thinking. Like, damn, I don't really wanna go to Jason's house because he don't really have nothing for me to enjoy myself. Well, that's where you're wrong. I do keep a couple of things that I don't necessarily like myself for other people. See, like, I'm not really a beer guy, so I could keep, you know, beer, you know, in, in this fridge and it wouldn't bother me at all. The only food on the planet that I hate is anchovies, and it happens to be one of my dad's favorite things in the world. Like, he puts anchovies on his pizza. Like, that's crazy. That's where you might as well put socks on the pizza. I mean, like, what are you doing, Pop? What are you doing? All right, so that's it for this fridge. I'm gonna take you downstairs to the studio, to another building where we'll see another fridge, yeah? All right, so let's take the cart down. It's too far of a walk. That's my favorite car right now. Best car in the world. All right, so this is the fun house. This is where it all goes down. Studio, a lot of late night vibes, a lot of parties go down in this house. So, within this fridge, this is what I'll have in the evening, right? So late night studio sessions, you know, you get hungry, you want some snacks. These veggies are a go-to though. If you're really trying to get shredded, these things, man, less calories than you're actually <laughs> intaking. It's, it's really insane. All right, so I'm gonna let y'all in on a little secret. So muscle milk is a quick and easy go-to. I actually enjoy having muscle milk in my vodka. So I'll, I'll mix the two. I'll, instead of putting a juice in there, I'll put you know either muscle milk or some BCAs. And it's like, it feels like you're having a mixed drink. I hope you add ice. Absolutely gotta have ice in that. You, you can't do it without ice, that's disgusting. I'm not gross. It's 2 a.m., what are you grabbing? Two in the morning. Honestly, I'm probably not gonna eat anything. I'm probably gonna head into this area. I'm a vodka guy, so I go vodka first. Sometimes if I'm feeling a little crazy, I might do a little, you know, a little dark. Whoa, what's with all the bubbles? I'm not really a champagne guy, necessarily. I, I feel like it makes your breath stink. Um, so it's not really my thing. Um, I like to have my breath fresh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right, so this is home. I wanted to build my own studio at home. I had to create the best studio in LA 
for one purpose. It's because I knew if I didn't create a studio that I thought was the best studio, then uh, I would constantly go to other studios. So yeah, this is the vibe that I wanted to create. How do you maintain your energy when you're recording in the studio? You know, I don't necessarily need to do anything to keep my energy up necessarily in the studio. I mean, this is this is where it all goes down. You know, I, I have a dream job because I actually love what I do. How do you keep your mind fit? I keep my mind fit by keeping a positive outlook. Just having a positive outlook on your life, it can be like, <laughs> like the, the most healthy thing that you can do for yourself. Because if you're constantly looking at the negative, um, it just kind of brings you down. Even something as simple as being on the Stairmaster, right? You're on the Stairmaster and if you're like, damn, I'm tired as hell. Like it really, it really makes you feel like that and it drags you down and you just want to get the hell off of that thing. But if you're like, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm eating this up. I'm killing this right now. Like just that simple uh, variable, it, it will change everything. All right, with that being said, <laughs> we kind of eating up into my workout time. So we got to get going because I'm getting a little hungry. Okay, time for some rapid fire questions. 7 a.m. workout or 7 p.m.? 7 a.m. Squat or deadlift? Deadlift. Pull ups or chin ups? Muscle ups. Crossfit, yay or nay? Mm, nah. Kettlebells or dumbbells? Dumbbells. Run on a treadmill or the great outdoors? Treadmill. Cardio or weight? <laughs> weight. Big legs or big arms? Ah, uh, big arms. Which would you rather be? Jacked, ripped, swole, or cut? Jack. If you could work out with anyone, dead or alive, who would it be? It gotta be Bruce Lee. Cause I just feel like the workout will be non-traditional, something I've never done before. So definitely Bruce Lee. But y'all gotta get out, cause I gotta, I gotta get my work out of here, baby. You know, we warmed up good. You warmed up with me, so thank you very much. But y'all gotta get the hell out of here. Gotta get this work out of here.